Well, hello there, friends. For it's another six people. My name is Pro Fair Gaming. Welcome back to another episode of Volt Squared. This is episode seven or six, I believe. Before we get started with what we're going to be doing in this episode, I do want to apologize for my voice. I sound kind of congested and nasally because uh, I've been sick with the flu, but I'm getting better, so I'm just kind of in that stage where I have like a runny nose and like a wet cough. So. Not the worst parts, but my fever's gone, so I'm feeling better. So, um, yeah, I just want to apologize for that before we get started. Alright, also, I want to talk about the currency for you guys. So, um, the currency that we've decided for the server is going to be iron blocks and iron ingots. So, uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna have, um, me and Sean, Sean and I, we decided this, uh, we're gonna have a city hall type of thing, and... Basically, it's gonna have like ATMs scattered around it and what's gonna happen in those ATMs is uh, You can exchange um, Iron or you can exchange four iron blocks for one diamond and the the only thing that we haven't figured out is that um, or is what we're actually gonna do with the um, Diamonds, uh, I don't know if they should go to back to the community somehow or what we're gonna do with them so if you guys have a suggestion for that um make sure to let me know all right in this next part of the video i'm gonna be giving you guys the subscriber of the day in the house and i also want to thank you guys for the crazy amount of likes that i've been getting recently um more recently on my channel i've been getting uh rather than my usual five to six likes for the past month i've been getting um 10 or more likes which is really amazing so uh yeah i want to thank you guys for that and um also i've been losing a lot of subscribers but that's just because i have been uh i did a giveaway and obviously you know the people that didn't win they're gonna get butt hurt and they're gonna unsubscribe and they probably just subscribed in the first place for the giveaway so you know that's expected but um definitely the giveaways did help my channel um rather than uh not helping it by giving me inactive subscribers because I could definitely tell a change between my Optifine Cape giveaway and um, today. So, um, yesterday, if you didn't see this or uh, last episode, I put a subscriber um, in the beginning and I also put one in the end of the video, but we're not going to do that today. That was just for that episode. So, um, let's just go ahead and put the subscriber for this episode. His name is Bryant. Hang. I don't know if I said that right. Maybe it's Brian Hang. Maybe I'm not saying it right. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I see him frequently on my channel. And, uh, yeah, so he seemed, he seemed like a cool guy and a very loyal subscriber. So, congratulations. If you want to be on the house, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Be active on my channel and comment me down below. And, um, yeah, so what we're going to do now, we're going to go, uh, kind of clear some area out for the Nether Hub. Doubt we'll get it started, but, uh, we're gonna go, um, we're gonna go do that. Alright, so I got some area cleared, and, uh, the spawn that we have for the, um, nether hub is actually a quite remarkable place. Uh, it's very confined, and it's very easy to, um, dig out, so that's gonna be helpful. I don't want to start it right now, because, uh, um, I kind of want to do it with somebody else. I might do it in the live stream and then upload it to my channel. Uh... What's this? I thought this was... I thought this was for... Um... Miguel. I don't know. But, uh... Here we are at spawn. I don't think anything's new. What's that up there? No, it's just still Miguel's thing. Um, I don't know what's up with these pressure blades on the enchant table. Uh, some clay. Oh, that's the stuff for the roads. Um... We got some sugar cane here. Uh, some wheat. I don't know if anybody still harvests this. I think so. Um, oh, and that's happening, the thing, because I was recently on, uh, MC Gamer, or, yeah, I guess, MCSG, and, um, you know, it kind of just stuck in my tab area. So, um, yeah, uh, nothing new at spawn. I kind of want to start building a shop pretty soon. Um, maybe in this episode, I'm just kind of lost on, uh, what I should build, so, um, I don't know, someone said a potato shop, but I want my I want my shop to have a little more variety than just potatoes. Um, I like my shops being unique, but yeah, a potato shop would be cool, don't get me wrong, but 
I want it to be a little more, uh, not, not more creative, because that is very creative, not really, but, um, uh, I, I want it to be, like, uh, special somewhat, and, um, unique, and have a lot of variety in it, so, like, uh, maybe, like, just a, a general good store, or something like that, that'd be pretty cool, um, I kind of want to build medieval at spawn, because I just want to save all my courts for my village, because it's very tedious getting all that, and I'm going to be needing a lot of quartz for my village. So, um, yeah, I'll probably just build, like, a, a general good store or something like that. I don't know, but um, we're going to have to see. I'm probably going to use this clay that's meant for the roads and smelt it up because I kind of have an idea of a design. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and smelt up some of that clay and we're going to get it. Uh, we're going to get it going. General good store just kind of tossed out of my brain so yeah we're gonna do that uh so i'll see you guys in a second guys the amount of unsafeness that it is right now is like unreal there are so many mobs behind me i'm probably not gonna die because i've been playing minecraft for five years and i have some experience with pve but like just where where are they all like look at this look at this it's, it's ludicrous <laughs> um so i'm gonna build my shop over here and for the reason of that, I would prefer to build it over there. But the reason that I'm building it over here is that I can tell that people... If nobody builds a shop over here, then nobody ever is going to. Um, so I kind of want to start building a shop over here because, like, uh, in Volt Season 1, there was, like, one road that had a ton of shops. And then, like, half of the spawn was kind of empty, so, um... Yeah, I want to start, uh, I, I want to kind of try to avoid that as much as I can by putting the shop over here. I also kind of want to vent over something that a lot of people will probably disagree with me on, but, you know, I YouTube, I'm just doing it for fun, uh, so I don't really care what people think about me or anything. Um, but uh, something that I want to vent on is when people... Um, shove their religions in your faces um now uh well oh look at that uh let's try to capture this guy um now i am it's kind of hard talking about this and killing all these mobs and putting torches everywhere uh actually i don't have a name tag so let's just kill them off they'll be more eventually um so oh crap uh, so something that I want to vent off is when people throw their religions in your faces. Now, personally, I am, um, like 75% Jewish, 25% Christian. Don't ask me how it works. It just does. Um, I like to call myself a juice gin. But, uh, what I hate is when people post pictures on Instagram. They're like, uh, by the way, Instagram, um, It'll now be in my description. I always kind of neglect Instagram, but, um, when people, uh, like, post pictures on Instagram, they're, like, uh, some of them are, like, uh, alright, so, repost this, and God will do you in a favor in the next ten minutes, which probably doesn't even happen, obviously, like, honestly, believe in what you want to believe in, but, um, there is no proof that there's a god. There's just a ton of stories in a book. That's really the only proof that they have. Uh, believe in what you want to believe in. I believe that there could be a god, but we don't have any actual proof that there is. But, um, uh, I, I'm a believer. Anyway, let me get back to the topic. Um, so, like, when people, when people post pictures on Instagram, and they're, like, uh, like, let's say on Thanksgiving... They'll be like, and now we thank our God for being, um, uh, for, like, uh, giving us our food and everything. Like, um, you know, first of all, first of all, Thanksgiving, I, I, I really need to start building this shop, but all these mobs are just tearing me apart. Actually, one second, I'll be right back. Alright, anyway, as I was saying, uh, Thanksgiving has nothing to do with any religion. It has to do with pilgrims and, um, and, uh, traveling to the Americas and doing whatever Thanksgiving's for, being thankful, you know? Um, 
But, uh, let me start building my shop while I'm venting. But, like, uh... People just, like, shove it in your face. Like, people ask me what religion I am. And I'll be like, I I'm Jewish. I usually just say Jewish. I don't really throw in the whole entire Christian thing. But, um... Uh... Jeez, that's loud. Um, I'll have to turn down the volume. But, uh, they'll ask me what religion I am. And I'll say I'm Jewish. And they're like, really? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, wow. Um, because if you didn't know, um... The thing that the reason why a lot of um why jewish people and a lot of other religions don't agree in each other i don't know if any other religions are like this is because the um the jewish religion believes that jesus is just a person and he's not um a savior of any sort he was just some guy like the muslims believe that he was a prophet um uh, who now, um, and Christians think that he's an all-powerful type of guy, but, um, Jews believe that, uh, he's just some, he's just some, uh, random dude, um, but anyway, uh, let me get back to the point, like, what I hate is when people, like, shove their religion in your faces, like, always, always posting things about, um, what their religion is, and, like, you know, I'm fine, believe in what you want to believe in, I, I'm totally down with that, atheist, Christian, Catholic, Muslim, I don't, I don't really care what you are, um, you know, believe in what you want to believe in, that's what I believe, but, uh, don't shove it in everyone else's face, you know, uh, it's not fair to the rest of us that have to, um, put up with it, and, uh, most people, most people in America are either, uh, Christian or Catholic, and, uh, that brings me to one more thing that I kind of want to vent about, um, it, I don't think it's fair, like, um, I'm probably gonna get, a lot of people are probably gonna disagree with me, but, um, I don't think it's fair that gay marriage isn't legalized in all of America, um, because, like, I, you know, whatever, if you don't, if you don't, support gay marriage, then, you know, I'm fine with that, you know, that's cool, believe in what you want to believe in, like I said before, but, um, yes, most people in America are Catholic or Christian, and they believe that a man shouldn't, uh, or the same sex shouldn't, um, marry or, you know, do it with each other or anything, or they don't, they don't support that, I'd like to, uh, some religions, being gay is a sin, um, now, the thing that isn't fair is that I don't think the law in the world should have anything to do with how the, well, uh, excuse me, I don't think the government or the law should have anything to do with religion. I don't think that's fair at all. Um, if the government more so supports the Christian religion, in America at least, um, they're gonna get a lot more supporters because, uh, most people are either, um, are, uh, Christian in America, but, um, you know, it's, it's just, it's just, in my opinion, not fair at all that, uh, it's not legalized everywhere because, um, yes, America, most people are, uh, most people in the world are straight, most people in America are, um, Christian or Catholic, but, uh, it shouldn't be up to the government or anything to decide whether someone should love who they want to love. Now, like, some people have talked to me, they're like, um, like, I'll talk to them, I'll be like, I believe that someone should, uh, love who they want to, and they're like, so, so if they want to, if they want to get married to their dog, then should that be legal? And, uh, my answer to that is, you know, yes, if you want to get married to your dog, then, you know, ride on, go for it. I don't, I don't care. I don't care who you love. If you want to, if you want to get married to your dog, then, you know, ride on, get married to your dog. But, uh, I, I wouldn't get married to my dog because my dog's probably going to die in like, um, 14 years or less. But, um, you know, I just don't think, I just don't think it's fair at all. Anyway, um. 
I don't even know why I'm doing this event. It's probably a very bad idea because a lot of people aren't going to be supporters of what I believe in. But, um, again, I don't really care what uh, anybody else believes in. Uh, you can believe in what you want to, but, um, you know, this is this is what I believe. And, uh, you know, if I want to share it with someone and um, I want to share it with my YouTube channel, then, uh, you know, I'm going to because it's my YouTube channel and there's nothing that's keeping me from sharing what I believe, uh, you know, one thing, one thing that I do believe in, um, I do believe in, uh, I do believe in a heaven, I believe, uh, <laughs> <coughs> I believe that I'm probably gonna go to heaven unless my life gets really screwed later, but, um, I, um, it's, it's all kind of confusing to me, honestly. Uh, talking about this kind of making me question what I actually really do believe in. Um, I do believe in a heaven. A lot of people say that uh, Jewish people aren't going to go to heaven because they don't, they don't believe that Jesus Christ is their savior. But um, then again, uh, you know, if you, if you believe that we're not going to go to heaven, then... Uh, you know, we believe in what we want to believe in. Maybe there's, um, heaven and hell for different types of religions, you know? Uh, I don't want to get stereotypical or anything, but, you know, uh, I'm just really rambling on and on as I'm building this shop, but, uh, I don't even know how long it's been. I need some more red clay, which is unfortunate. Uh, I actually want to bring this out one. Um, so let me get more red flowers. Anyway, yeah, that was my kind of vent, um, I started off with saying how people throw their religions in your face, like literally every single Instagram post that they put is like, oh, I love God, God, so blessed, God, 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 you know, I do believe in a God, I believe that there is a God, or I believe that there can be a God, but, um, there's no proof that there is a God, so, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know what I believe in, I'm not a very religious person, but, um, I, I think that if you believe in a certain religion, uh, then that's fine, you know, believe in, as I've said for, like, the fourth or fifth time in the video, believe in what you want to believe in, but don't shove it in everybody else's face, because, uh, you know, people aren't, people aren't gonna appreciate that, you know, um, uh, a lot of people probably won't care what you believe in, because most people will probably believe in what you believe in, but, you know, let me just stop talking about this, anyway, um, so I'm kind of going for a village type of style. I'm just running around here trying to find some red dye or red flowers so I can um, turn some of the hardened clay into some red stained clay. Uh, I don't know how that's going to work, though. I don't see any red flowers. Oh, some over there. Um, so it's, it's kind of like a, a village type of house. It's going to look cool when it's done. It kind of looks weird from now, but... Um, <coughs> you know what I'm saying. Anyway, uh, very cool. Um, <laughs> that rant that I just did, uh, kind of took my breath away. Probably shouldn't be talking this much, considering that I'm, uh, that I'm sick and I have a bad cough. And when I have a cough uh, and I'm talking a lot, um, I just usually go into a sporadic coughing fit. Um, which thankfully isn't happening right now, but I'll probably have to take a Ricola later. Um, I still said, <laughs> still says that I'm playing on MCSG. And, uh, that's kind of weird. So, I think we'll have enough red, red clay for this. Um, you know, I think we might change the roads over here. We can have, like, a different section or something. Uh, here, let me just quickly take this, um... And go like that. And, uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, so, um, oh, there are red flowers right there. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, that's it for my vent. Uh, um, so, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys, what do you guys believe in? Um, you know, if you don't want to put it down in the comment section below, then... You know, you don't have to, but, you know, um, feel free to. I'm not, I'm not one to keep you from writing what you want to write. Um, 
so uh yeah so uh we um uh no what all right there we go um so let's go like this and just keep doing that uh so tomorrow gta 5 funny moments will probably be uploaded um sorry if it's not uh here we could go like that i think that'll look better i don't know we won't have enough clay for this though uh or no we won't have enough glass but that's fine um here let's just go like this anyway uh so you know, something that I'm excited for, 1.8 just recently came out, not too long ago, a few months ago, I believe, I don't really remember when, uh, wasn't it like, uh, maybe s October 2014, I don't remember, uh, I need some spruce wood, that's why I'm coming over here, so, um, I'm, I'm kind of excited what they have in store for 1.9, but I'm not sure what they're gonna do about updates since Microsoft owns, um, Mojang now, because, uh, you know, I'm not, I didn't do too much research on it, however, um, I know that there are gonna be a lot of changes, I haven't heard anything, not a lot of changes, but I haven't heard anything about, uh, updates or potential, um, improvements or even performance improvements to the game um so hopefully uh microsoft doesn't absolutely destroy minecraft um am i going the right way i think so uh you know i think it'll all be fine in the long run if they do if they do um completely ruin minecraft then they're gonna lose a lot of fans i can tell you that much uh so let's what are we gonna make the floor out of let's make it out of um I feel like we should make it out of dirt. Or like, uh... What do we have on us? I'm too lazy to actually collect anything. Um, why do I have a saddle in my inventory? I don't know. Maybe because I killed that zombie jockey. Maybe I dropped a saddle. Uh, so we're gonna pick up some of this. We're gonna turn it all to dirt. And, um... The floor to dirt, at least. Um... Probably gonna do a lot of cutting in this episode, so, uh, I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna work, how much editing I'm gonna have to put it into this, but I've been recording this clip for a long time. Um, how much dirt is that? 24? I don't know if that'll be enough. It's really hard only having a silk touch shovel. You know, the struggle. I mean, it's nice for grass, but, um, when you actually want dirt on the rare occasion, then it could be kind of strenuous and stressful. Alright, so what we're gonna do, since we need some more, we're just gonna go like this. Um, it's one way to do it. No one's gonna look down here, so it doesn't matter. Alright, so... Let's go like that. And let's drop these. Um, we're gonna go ahead and make a spruce store. Alright, where is it? Right here. Need one spruce store. I wonder how... Oh, no, I wanted a dark oak door, but spruce will look good, too. Um, I kind of mixed up the the colors of what each door looks like. Uh, but this will work. Uh, yeah, I think that looks fine. I don't know. But um, something that I notice over here kind of needs a window. Yeah, maybe one right there will be good. I don't know. Um, no, let's put that back, actually. Maybe we can have one, like, uh extending out kind of maybe something like um something like that and we could put like will that look awkward yeah it probably will um so we're gonna we're gonna block that off again uh let's just go like that i guess i don't know but um i'm gonna finish this off and uh you guys will see the finished product in the next clip um or in the next episode i apologize i'm also feeling kind of sick so i don't really have the time to record as much as i usually do but um i want to get a good night rest so hopefully i can wake up tomorrow and feel better but uh anyway thank you very much for watching this episode of volt smp 
um drop a like if you make sure if you want to uh jesus i can't talk drop a like if you enjoyed the video and if you want to see more make sure to subscribe if you haven't already i'm from gaming and i will see you guys later